my first video, I guess, just experimenting around. Um, so something I've run into as of late is a lot of web servers are really annoying because they don't allow you to access their MySQL databases remotely, which I find to be a serious pain in the butt when you're trying to make third-party applications or whatnot to try and access those or even uh, test out some values um, for your web pages before you actually make them live. So what I'm going to show you today is how to essentially make that test server uh, on your computer so that it's local and you can test some stuff out if you have dynamic uh, websites and uh, make it work there before you actually upload it for the world to see. Um, so what you're going to want to start doing is going Google searching it or just going to this URL, easyphp.org, and download and install um, your easyphp 12.0. Click there and it'll install. Um, this is for Windows, obviously it's a WAMP. Uh, if you're using Max, you want to find a MAMP. On uh, Linux, you want to find a LAMP uh, to do this. But this tutorial is for um, the Windows version. So you'll click and install this and you go ahead and install this. And once you have that done, uh, what you're going to want to do is you'll have a little icon down here, uh, Easy PHP, that says it's started. Now, when I first installed this, it seemed to have some problems um, hooking everything up. So once you have it started, uh, what you want to do is go ahead and just double click on this. And you'll see that Apache should be started and MySQL are started. But we want to kind of hard boot these. So go ahead and stop both of them. And once they're both stopped, uh, what you're going to want to do is restart them. Um, for some reason, if you just do the normal restart on here, then it doesn't really work out that well, which I find to be kind of weird. Um, what's going on with you, Apache? Let's start up my SQL here. So Apache isn't liking me right now. Yes, I'd love to quit you. Let's try that again, shall we? Okay, so we'll stop. And Apache, we will stop you as well. So once you have both those stopped, you'll restart them. Start, start. Okay, and simple as that. Now all we need to do is type in localhost and home. And that should snap us right to our managing page. So that's all you need to do to get that set up really uh, now you have your server and your mysql database is all up uh, one other thing i'll show you really quick is um, how to go ahead and make a user for mysql for some dumb reason uh, they don't like it when they, they want you to have your normal user to be root which is kind of unsafe even though it's local i'm paranoid about those things and the reason is because you have, um, what you have is no password. So what I like to do is create my own user account, uh, preferably the same as my actual website one, with the same password and whatever, and go off of that. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So why don't we just add a user. In this case, we'll just make our user, uh, let's make our username tester. Um... Our host is obviously localhost, and our password will be test. It's a pretty shitty password, but it's okay. And we'll give ourselves all the privileges, because we like it. Okay, so new user added. There we have tester with our password. So the annoying thing about EasyPHP is that whenever you open this, it has the automatic user to be root, so we want to change that, and this is how you do it. I'm going to go ahead and open up a uh, computer, and go ahead and go to local disk C, program files, and easy PHP, modules, go in here, and what you'll have is config.inc.php. Go ahead and open that up, and what you're going to see here is your user default user. We want to change that to tester.
password we want to have be test because that's what we set it as okay so sorry about the little blip in the movie this free editing uh, software only allows me five minutes of video so do it in increments okay so we have that we saved it um, a good idea to do before you do all this though um, is to actually in your little admin thing maybe make a copy of this originally and just append a dot old to the end just in case something goes wrong you have the original so now what should happen is once we click on this it'll open up to tester yay so now you can do all your databases and stuff under there um, and that's about it for that um, I think what I might do is actually start showing you guys uh, a win app uh, a Windows Forms application um, sort of manipulating these databases for my website just for your own uh, general information and uh, uh, so maybe you can learn a little bit and maybe I can learn a little bit but I hope this helped out uh, if you had any questions and uh, if you want to see any videos relating anything else with the easy PHP or um, anything like that uh, anything related uh, to computers I can go ahead and take that into consideration just leave me a message or something like that um, thanks for watching hope this helped